Hello my dear family members the enthusiasm in my content i am getting from your side has just blown my mind your love in forcing me to upload videos again and again even though i get tired after my office time by the way in these days accenture asking very normal coding questions in on campus drive only based on string and java but exceptionally they are asking one or two coding questions regarding dynamic programming so today we will discuss a coding question which were asked on 1st December 2023 Accenture on campus drive. So let's see what are the questions. So actually the question is regarding uh, the question is regarding longest increasing subsequence length right. So actually I have not got the full questions as it is a physical assessment so I will just give you the input output and you have to understand that right okay so look here the input is an array and here are the array elements and output is 4 why i'm explaining and here the array elements are these and output is 3 why actually we have to find the longest increasing subsequence length right so what are the increasing order here so look at here 4 after then 2 this is decreasing right but 2 after that 5 after that 7 after that 12 these are increasing right uh, so we have to count this length so 2 to 5 so this is 2 5 to 7 so this is 3 7 to 12 this is 4 so the count is 4 that's why we have returned 4 right okay so here 10 after that 5 so this is decreasing right and here 5 to 32 this is increasing order and 32 to 40 this is increasing order and then 21 so this is decreasing right so we will not include that so what is the longest increasing subsequence right so this is 5 32 40 right so we have to count this length right so this is 3 that's why we are in, we are actually returning 3 as the output right so i hope you understood what you have to do so if you understood the problem then please start solving the problem by yourself if not possible only then come to watch right otherwise it will not be helpful at your exam time right so actually this question was asked already in on campus drive and happily i can say that i have included these questions as well in our material so if you had have gone through the materials then you would have already got common in your exam right so if you have not bought yet then please buy it at only 49 rupees the purchasing links i mean uh, the instagram link will be given in the description box please ping me there i will give you the link right okay let's go to the solution part so at first I will give you the solution in python but I will not be able to give you the solution in java currently because of my situation but uh, I will give you the solution in the comment section if you want right okay let's go to the solutional approach actually what we have to do that is uh, we have to take an array as argument in the in a function right and we have to run a for loop and we have to check if the second element is greater than the first element if uh, the third element is greater than the second element right this way if the second element is greater than the first element then we will increase the count of the length all uh, right and if not then what we would do uh, we will update the length uh, the maximum length right and we will make the uh, previous length as one right i mean the current length as one right so simply this way we'll uh, get our desired output right okay let's see the solution this will be more clear right actually we could have solved the problem through dynamic programming but this will be more difficult that's why we will not use dp more here right okay so let's define the function longest increasing subsequence and take an array as argument and then then what we have to do actually we have to check if the length of the array is greater than zero or not otherwise return zero right or return minus one this way right so let's check if the length of the array is less than zero 
I mean is equal to is equal to 0 if yes then return 0 or minus 1 right okay now we have to run a for loop right so for i in range 1 to n why 1 to n actually we will compare the first element I mean the 0th element with 1th element right I mean the first element that's why I took ranges from 1 to n right okay the Java guys you have to know this um, syntax actually this is similar to for int i is equal to 1 i less than n i plus plus right okay so then what we have to do we have to check if the second element is greater than or greater than the first one or not right so if add a first element i mean the i right first element is greater than the previous element or not right so previous element means i minus 1 and if this conditions is true then we will increment the lis i mean the length of the increasing subsequence right so at first we have to initialize that variable right so let's say the variable is length right is equal to at first let's say one okay so we have to increment length as plus one right okay now if add a i is not greater than add a i minus one right so that means else what we have to do we have to increment i mean we have to update the maximum length right so what is the maximum length at first we have to initialize the maximum length as one right okay so here we have to update the maximum length as max of max length itself and the current length that means the length right lngsth right okay so we are comparing the previous max length and the current length whichever will be the maximum will be in it will be actually stored in the max length variable right okay now we'll will actually initialize again the length is equal to one because we will check another condition right okay so now update the current length sorry current length is length right length as one i hope you understood why we are updating the value of length and we are updating the value of max length right okay now everything is fine just now return out of the for loop just return max of max length and the current length right so that's it current length right okay so i hope this will give proper output now just write the driver code so add a is equal to list map and input split i hope you know how to take uh, input array input right okay now just call the function lis error right okay i hope this will give proper output so the array elements are let's say 10 2 9 33 35 let's say this is right so what should be the output output should be 1 2 3 4 right because this is increasing and this is the maximum i mean the longest subsequence right so output should be 4 here but uh, here we got an error right so what is the n value actually n uh, is the length right so actually this should be length length of the array right okay now it's fine okay so 10 2 
9, 33, 35, right? Okay, so output should be 4 here and we got an error again. So what is the error? Local variable length, uh, reference, assign before assignment, okay. Oh, sorry, actually I did a mistake here, right? While typing it, so this should be length, right? Okay, now I think this will be 100% right. So the array elements are 10 to 9. 33 and 35 so here output should be 4 right and it is 4 so this is right okay let's run our sample input that was 10 5 32 30 32 40 and 21 output should be 3 right and it is 3 so I hope you understood the logic and syntaxes I used in this code so if you faced any issue with the code then please let me know in the comment section i will love to keep solution after you right okay now before i end the session i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture and please do buy our materials and motivate me in the comment section thank you for today's session